My name is John McCauley. I play MC2, Old Man, and the Duke of Sutherland. The Duke of Sutherland is one of the characters I play. He's very uh, full on, and he's trying to drum up um, um, people from his estate to join the army to fight for queen and country, and he doesn't have much success. It's great fun to play because uh, there's a lot of humor involved, and um, he's a bit of an idiot. <laughs> I have struggled immensely with the Gaelic. We've got a great, part, uh, great um, member of the team, Callum, who's um, in, in the show, who speaks Gaelic, he's a Gaelic speaker, and he's been very patient <laughs> and very kind, uh, and it would, be, it would be impossible without him. One of the definitions of classic is it um, doesn't go out of date, um, and it's about people with little being downtrodden with people with a lot, and I think that's relevant today as it was then. It's about Scotland's identity in relation to England, and that's certainly relevant today as it was then. My name's Christina Gordon, and I am playing a girl called Vary, who is from Strathnaver. Vary is a Highland girl. She comes up in arms and fights for her land and her croft. Um, when the evictors come and try and kick them off the land and she feels very strongly about her homeland and hates the way they've been treated for the, the bringing in of the sheep and being um, kicked out of their homes. I think my favourite song would be Mogahi, which means my home and it's, it's just a really beautiful tune and um, it's all in, in Gaelic and it, it's basically um, someone singing about how homesick they are and how and they miss speaking their mother tongue and the person's moved to Canada and how it's just not the same. Um, my name's Martin McBride and I play several characters. Any play that examines itself or, or the country that it's based in or it's set in I think is always kind of pertinent because it's about the identity of the country and how it's come to be what it is today. We had the referendum back in September and there's talk about um, uh, you know, the oil and uh, how much has been exploited by outside uh, sources, whether it's America, whether it's London and Westminster, whether it's Scots themselves. Scotland could be its own worst enemy quite a lot of the time. There are uh, always outside sources that are kind of exploiting Scotland or, you know, it feels like it's been under, which it certainly has, you know, look at the Highland clearances and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, the amount of characters in this that are Scottish and are exploiting Scottish people, it, it, it kind of highlights that we are the, absolutely the underdog, but we're also our own worst enemy an awful lot of the time. My name's Iron McDougall and I play lots of different characters in this play. We want the audience to join in as much as possible. We're going to ask the audience to join in as much as possible. We're going to get them up to dance. They're going to become mountains, you know. We haven't yet thought about asking them to be sheep. But, you know, we are going to do that. So um, I think that's going to be great fun, getting them up and um, stuff like that. So it'll be very much as well. Hopefully, um, we keep that spirit going because that was the spirit to begin with. It kind of redefined um, a theatrical landscape as well, which was fascinating. And there's something very rough and ready about it, uh, but it is great fun. I'm Ali McRae, <laughs> and I'm the musical director in the show, and I'm playing the character of Texas Jim, who is uh, the oil prospector that comes all the way from Texas to help us lucky Scots find our oil in the North Sea. The, the, Gaelic, the Gaelic songs and um, the tunes are very important because that, that was all part of what was destroyed by, by uh, the, the, the governments and the people in power uh, at the time throughout the uh, 18th and 19th centuries and, and to a certain extent throughout the 20th century as well. The majority of uh, the issues of the play have not changed, i.e. the people of Scotland being done over again and again and allowing it to happen. Um, the people who live on the land have to have some access to power, otherwise there's, there's no, there, there, there is never going to be a, a just and fair society.